Aami takipi. Wana le am fetu ki we choyake. We choyake ki le. Chichia wapi ke lo mi takipi. The woman who lived with the wolves. We are wa shugmani tu khanka ob ti. The Woman Who Lived with the Wolves, told by Oliver Brownwolf, English script by Paul Little, Makota script by Sidney Keith, illustrations by Narlin Blue Arm. A mini Koju camp, which had settled down for the winter, was raided by Crow Indians. The Crow stole many horses and took a Lakota woman back to their camp. The woman was very was unhappy staying in the Crow camp. She missed her people. Some of the Crow women saw this and took pity on her. They gave her food and a blanket and told her to hide by a creek near the camp. Shinakile enna, woyite kilena ichu, na wakpalata inachmaye. She hid herself in the bushes along the banks of the creek. A short time later, some of the crow men came looking for her. While the Lakota woman was hiding, two large wolves came upon her. The wolves growled at her and circled around her. The woman thought the wolves were going to kill her. But the wolves treated her kindly and guided her along a path to the east. The wolves and the woman traveled together while the crow were chasing them. Hocha mini aglagla inachmake na oiok baza cha glichuke. Ichunha shugmani titchanka num el hipina oksha klo omani pike. Dokinash enna ktepik ta kechinke. Shugmani titchanka ki washtecha pike cha o wanchok we yohiapa ta kia siglu ha pike. A raging blizzard caught the woman and her wolf friends in the open prairie. Two more wolves joined them as they walked through the blowing snow. The small wolf pack and the woman struggled through the snow drifts and the cold winds. There is power to this story. The woman was able to get safely away from the crow because of the blizzard. If one is traveling in a blizzard and remembers the story, one not, need not be afraid. <laughs> After many days of traveling, the small band reached Winuchjalapaha near present-day Opal, South Dakota. They came to a cave in the ro rocks, and the wolves forced her inside. The cave had an awful smell. As her eyes adjusted to the darkness, she saw many wolves in the large den. She, sh she thought that the wolves would tear her apart. Instead, the wolves dragged in a deer, tore it apart, and shared it with the woman. Ampeetu ota manipi ehan, Winuchjalapaha ea picha hel ihunipi. Ihuka <laughs> The wolves were one big family. Many, many generations of wolves lived together in the cave. Each wolf had its own place in the family. The hunter wolves brought in the meat. The mother wolves nursed their young. The elder wolves taught the younger ones the skills of hunting. The other wolves kept watch over the den. In this way, they all looked after each other. <laughs> Hokshi 
the woman made herself a home in the den. She learned to speak and understand the wolf's language. The woman would dry and store the meat for the winter. She got along well with the wolves, and they got along well with her. Soon she smelled just like the other wolves. The wolves knew their country well. They always knew whenever the two-legged ones passed through. The wolves usually stayed away from the two-leggeds. The wolves did not like the way the two-legged smelled. Wanea tu ata hel ob ticha, ob wogalake na ie na wichacho. Wanea ki lila wagabla na pusie. Shogmane tu tchankati wa ste wicha lake na inja wa ste lakati. Wanea ki inja shogmane tu tchanka mana aya ke. Shogmane tu tchankati makoche ki le stoliapi. Tohan hunupa ki opta hiaya pichan stoliapi. Shukmani tu tchanka ki lena hu numpa ki e cheyab shna e chumpi. Lakota ki tokcha manapi cha hel wachtela pi chni. At turnip digging time of the year, the woman's mother was still in mourning. She thought that her daughter had been killed. One day, the hunter wolf saw the mother near the den. The wolves went back and told the woman. The woman wanted to go back to her people. She was worried that they would not accept her back. The wolves told her to wave her blanket two times if she wanted to stay with her mother. If she waved once, the wolves would come come and take her back to the den. Wianki wanchok kaoyate ki ektagala chi. Ash hektaki a ikik chupik te ki a sloliation. Shukmani tut hanka ki haapi. Tohan kaoyate el kina ob unkta a hantash. Shinanki numpa kos shipina. Na e e kun chi. A hantash wanjala kos shipi. When the mother saw her daughter coming, she was so happy to see her that she cried. The woman waved her blanket twice to the wolves who were watching from the hills. The wolves saw this and went to their cave. The woman's name became Ihucha Otiwi, woman who lived in the rock. The rock is now considered a sacred area to the Lakota. Be careful of this tale, because if it is told on a winter night, it might cause a blizzard. Wana shugmani tu tchanka ki khayela hunku ki wa wopta kea picha. Wina ki etkia hiya api. Aata ki chi api na che api. Shina ki numpa koze cha shugmani tu tchanka ki hekta ki a kigla api. Ho le wina ki ihucha o tiwi a chi api cha. O kloka ki he lakota ki wa khan kula wapi. I cho oya ke ki le wawa sha ke i koya ke kecha.